Good morning friends and welcome back to another vlog. For those of you that are new here, my name is Hannah and I am a first year kindergarten teacher in Maryland but right now teaching from home. So I'm going to take you along today with another day in my life as an at home teacher. about 8 20. I have a class meeting set up once a week with my kids through we use Google Meet at my school so I get to see them at least once a week through that which is awesome and that is today this morning so I'm gonna get ready for that because I have a couple things planned for it. Um, this morning so far I already got up I worked out I ate breakfast and I got ready so here I am so it's an early morning start and I like getting started early because it gives me so much more time in my day and I feel so much more productive when I get up early and get things done I'm gonna put you guys down okay so what I'm doing right this second though before my meeting starts is I am making my schedule for the day. I love using this bullet journal to kind of plan out my day and just get myself, my mind organized a little bit for the things that I have to do, the things that I want to do, and what my schedule looks like, so what time of day each thing is. It's a really cute journal. I got this from Walmart actually. So, so far on my schedule I have to wake up and eat, which I already did, work out, which I already did, get ready, which I already did, my class meeting, and then I have office hours. And those are the only like scheduled things that I have today. The rest of my list is just things that I would like to get done at some point. So I have um, posting some things on TPT. I want to kind of look at some design options for some things in my new apartment. I want to explore some master's programs because I reached out to you guys and asked what master's programs you've used if you have gone for your master's in education. And a lot of you recommended the same one, so I feel like I need to check it out. So I'm going to do that. And then I also want to plan a video, and if I have time, maybe start filming it. But we'll see how that goes. So going to get started on today's schedule and probably since I still have a little bit of time work on the TPT stuff first. I want to show you what I created yesterday and then I'm posting today. Okay so yesterday I went on to PowerPoint. I'm going to make it a little bigger so you can see. And I created like individual day planners kind of if you will. These are things that I would totally use at school um, and it kind of was inspired by what am I doing over here with this dot journal. I feel like I need something a little bit more structured. So I created these and I think that it's so cute. It turned out really well. So it says today's plan has a spot for the date. I'm going to a bunch of little sections so like a to-do list things to prep for tomorrow that's why I'm saying it's a little bit more school based um, things to copy things to people to contact and then notes and reminders at the bottom so I have it in a couple different like fonts and a couple different colors and also I changed the background so far to this green one too which is cute and then some different colors so I think I might add a few more templates to it and then post it but I think that it's so cute and I definitely cannot wait to use this this school year um, and the awesome thing about this is that it's going to be a PDF so you can edit it in like things like good notes so you can use an Apple pencil to write on it directly meetings it's now at 9 44 the meeting probably ran for about almost 30 minutes and then after that I actually had a little student um, who's so sweet she's moving so she's no longer no longer going to be at our school but she is in the county still and I don't know how most school districts are doing this but right now you really can't enroll in a new school because of all that's going on so she luckily is able to stay in my class even though we're like homeschooling and virtual learning she's able to stay with us and join our class meetings and everything still so she asked if we could have a little one-on-one -on -one chat after our meeting so we did and it was really sweet and then actually like 10 seconds after the rest of the kids all logged off and it was just the one kid left my principal hopped on and was ready to join our class meeting but we had just finished it so she didn't get a chance to say hi to all of them today so hopefully next week we'll try again but she did get to talk to the one little girl which probably made her feel really good it was super fun to catch up with my kids i got to see one friend that i haven't seen yet on a class meeting and i was so excited to see him he's just like the most energetic light of your life it's so cute um and another friend who i've gotten to speak to we finally figured out how to work the class meeting i got to speak to him but the rest of the kids hadn't gotten to see him yet so they all got to see him today and they love him he's like everyone's best friend so they were super excited to see him which was so sweet we did show and tell today so they all got to share something at their house that they had that's special to them or just 
tell us why they like it so they had some really funny things to share i shared my unicorn from despicable me and i asked them if they knew what this is from and they were all like the minion movie and so i was happy that they knew who that was and then they were all like you probably picked that because it's pink they get me they understand so that was super sweet i'm now going to go ahead and we have to track our attendance like virtual class meeting attendance just to kind of keep track of who's been engaging and who hasn't really been present so i need to put that in for today i'm now in office hours so for the next two hours about i basically just kind of sit by my computer and hang out and make sure that if anyone needs me i'm available like readily available so i'll just hang out here and probably get some computer work done upload that thing to TBT now that it's ready and yeah that's what we're doing Last night I went to Instagram and needed some advice from you guys on master's programs and the majority of you guys said, let me think of what it's called again, Western Governors University is either what you used or what you recommend. I got quite a few people saying that so I think I'm going to go ahead and check that out. I already looked at um, Walden University. There was another one but I don't even remember what it was called. So let's look at Western Governors University. People said that it's awesome because you kind of can really work at your own pace and from what I understand also you kind of pay a flat rate for the semester. So most colleges or universities you pay per credit so it doesn't matter if you take 20 credits at once or if you take three credits at once you're going to be paying per credit so the money will catch up to you. But people said that this Governors University, Western Governors University, you pay like for a time period so you can take as many classes or as little classes as you want in that time period and you're still paying the same amount. It's a six month term and you pay a flat rate for that six months so if you ch choose to take 10 credits that six months then cool. If you choose to take 20, cool. Choose to take three then fine but it's still the same price. Oh and you can apply for free this week. They have a special offer going on. In thinking that I want to do reading and literacy as my master's program, I just think that that's something that I can really utilize as a teacher but also if I get to the point down the road where I want to change things up and I don't want to be a classroom teacher anymore then reading and literacy I can always become like a specialist or do something else with that and still be qualified to do it and not have to be limited to just teaching in the classroom. So just kind of keeping my options open. But um, I've heard a lot of people that do curriculum and instruction. I've looked into that one too and I think that's also really interesting. So that could also be an option. I'm still up in the air, but I think I want to start this in the fall, like late September, just so that I can get moving out of the way, starting a new school and job out of the way and then kind of already be a little bit into the school year and then start the master's so that I'm not like overloading myself all at once. I had such a gloomy day outside that I am honestly just so unmotivated to do anything and I can't go outside for a walk today so I have to figure out another way to get moving at some point but I'm happy that I got up this morning and worked out because that really started my day off well but <sighs> rainy days. I like rain but when I'm stuck in quarantine already and I that's my only shot at getting out of the house is like going for a walk or something. It's sad. Afternoon friends, it's now almost one o'clock. I just finished eating lunch. I had some mac and cheese for lunch because it's a rainy day and comfort food sounded good. So it sparked from my last video that I just uploaded about interviewing tips and like the tips that I have because of the experiences that I've gone through. Um, I had a lot of people question and ask, oh my gosh, did you accept the job? Did you get another job offer? Like where are you working and that kind of stuff. So I did want to say, yes, I accepted a job offer. I posted about getting a job offer on my Instagram maybe about a week ago. I don't even remember how long ago it was, but probably around a week ago I don't know when you guys are gonna be seeing this but I posted about getting the job offer and it was super exciting but I actually ended up turning that job offer down but I did get a couple other job offers after that one so I picked one of those as the job that I accepted I am gonna go in more detail about the job that I accepted in another video not this one just because I have a lot of things that I can say about it and I want to talk to you guys about but it's just not really something I want to put in this video so just to clarify yes I did accept a job no it was not the job offer that I posted about but I am so excited about the job offer that I did accept and I can't wait to talk to you guys more about it. So going along with that, one of the things I wanted to do today, just because it's a rainy day and I really don't have a whole lot of other things to do and I can't really go outside and do things, I wanted to kind of explore kind of what my vision is for next year in my, in my classroom. So I've been going to Pinterest and making different vision boards. Okay, so I got my iPad for you guys. What I'm thinking of, now this is just a rough <laughs> idea, but I'm thinking I want to go with more of like a natural, calm, 
it sounds silly but the name that i've seen i'll use a lot for this look is like the eucalyptus look so a lot of those like leafy just very like pastel-y neutral colors where it's just a calm space and the reason i'm going with this is because i just think with younger grades it's so important for them to not be overstimulated it's so easy for them to get overstimulated with all of the manipulatives and visuals and stuff that are used in young grades because that's what they basically use all the time i mean they're all over the classroom because that's what they need and so i love that in the classroom that i have now i love how it's decorated but definitely as the year goes on and you're adding more things to the walls and that kind of stuff it gets to be it can get to be a lot so i'm thinking i kind of want to stick to this like neutral look and so on my pinterest i made a board for my classroom and what i'm thinking is like i just want you to get the style based off of this but i found this can you see it there it is and i just think that this look is totally what i would want to go for like the wood the natural the succulents i think are super fun i would love to put plants like this in my classroom and i just think it's very simple and calm and it's not something that's going to overstimulate the kids and that's what i'm going for so i'm going to keep working on that board for a little bit and see what else i can find i mean i know there's no rush at all but this kind of stuff is exciting to me so i'm gonna do that for a little bit. Anytime I try to do anything, she comes over and either lays on top of me or lays right on what I'm doing. So then I can't do it. Right, Lou? <laughs> later it's about 5 30 i honestly have not had the most productive day ever i i just didn't have much to do so i took a nap i watched some youtube which i really haven't done a whole lot of i haven't napped i've been really impressed with myself i really have not napped like this whole quarantine i just have not been taking naps and it's been great because once i get into a routine of taking naps then i start feeling like i depend on naps so you guys are gonna fall and then that's my whole schedule gets messed up so i have not been taking naps and i napped today for maybe like 30 minutes it really wasn't even that long and i am not someone that could only nap for 30 minutes so i was so impressed with myself but then my nephew came over so we are hanging out with him right now when my sister went grocery shopping i just actually ran into her now she was coming um, up my street she just finished so she's picking him up but he's eating dinner so we fed him some dinner and now we're gonna have dinner and we have not had Chinese takeout or sushi or anything in so long because of all this and so I'm stoked about dinner tonight but I'm gonna go pick that up it's nice to get out of the house it's been so windy today I haven't been able to go outside because it rained this morning like really rained hard for most of the day and now it's sunny out but it's really windy and I just tried to play with my dog outside and even that was like not fun I was blowing away so today's just gonna be one of those days where I can't beat myself up for not getting up and doing more but what can you do tomorrow's a new day tomorrow's supposed to be nicer hello it is now the next day and I'm editing this video and totally forgot that I forgot to end the video so yesterday I just had a really chill night after we had dinner I literally got ready for bed did a little face mask and stuff and treated myself and then I went to bed because I was so tired so that was all that I did yesterday I know it was kind of a gloomy day so it wasn't super fun but I'm vlogging today as well so look out for another daily vlog coming soon and I thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it and if you are not already part of our family go ahead and push the subscribe button and join us and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye